Shout out to the KJ family to rock with Kristen and Jamil. We're back, you guys, for another review. Woo! But not just any review. What? And today we are trying the highest and lowest calorie menu items at BJ's restaurants. Yes. BJ's is all across the United States. It is a um, brew house, right? Yeah. So they're known for like their beers, and of course they have good food, and their pizzukis, which is are their desserts, and it's um, a delicious like warm cookie with ice cream. Sure. Um, so they have delicious desserts. But anyways, we wanted to do their highest and lowest calorie menu items. So we did the highest and lowest calorie appetizers and then the highest and lowest calorie main entrees. Okay, cool. so that's what we're focusing on today. And just so you know, you guys, this is for some people that may, maybe they know, maybe they don't. Mm -hmm. This is different than BJ's, the grocery store, because there is like a BJ's grocery store. Oh, there is? There is, oh, yes. Oh, uh, we don't actually have one out here, but I know in the past, like, we've talked about BJ's and people were like, oh, the grocery store? So, Anyways, a little different. Not this is the restaurant. It's yeah. similar to me to like a Cheesecake Factory. Similar. In a sense yeah. that their menu, there's so many things on there. Um, so, anyways, but not as good though. I like cheesecake. Yeah, I don't think it's as good either. <laughs> and this is, yeah, they're known for their like beer here. Yeah, so. they're known for their beer. Okay, so what do you want to start with? Should we start with the... Let's do appetizer. Oh, the appetizer, the lowest or... Yeah, lowest calorie appetizer is what we're kicking it off with. Okay. You guys, and that is going to be their honey sriracha Brussels sprouts. For only 220 calories, you guys. That's good. Crisp, lightly fried Brussels sprouts with big Papa Smokers dessert gold seasoning hey. and sweet sriracha crema. Okay. That looks good. I think that does look really good. And the price point for this, um, just so you guys know, is $9.25 here in nice. California. Nice. Not bad. Well, who am I talking about? That's a lot. That's a lot for some, some Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I can yeah. make this at home. You know what you could do? <laughs> I mean, depending on how good these are, because I, I feel like they're going to be really good. Mm -hmm. You can just buy some Brussels sprouts, find the recipe online that they use, and just make them yourself. Of course. You probably always that. could be that. any, yeah, you could do any home hack. But definitely with Brussels sprouts, because it's a little, you know, it's easier to, to do. I'm doing a spoon, because I don't feel like oh. I'm putting up a new thing. All right, sorry. Okay, so yeah, I think they look like pretty... Um, what's the word? Crispy. They do. And I have a sauce on them. We're going to see. It's all about the flavor, as you guys know, with Brussels sprouts. That's How right. good do they season this? And if you like Brussels sprouts, the smell of this, it smells incredible. Yeah. We love Brussels sprouts. So, mm. okay. here we go. One, One two, two, three. Hmm. I'm trying. One more. I'm going through phases on this one. Me too. Okay. I've got it. Do you? Yes. Okay. I think I do too. They're decent. Yeah. They're... Oh, let me... Um, this is at least how I feel about it. I can make this at home and it would taste just like this. There's not a lot of seasoning in it. So they're not bad. They're just basic Brussels sprouts with a little bit of the sauce over it. Maybe there's not enough sauce. That's what I was just gonna say. Maybe there's not enough, yeah, flavoring in it. And I know this is a lower calorie. However, it does need it's a true. little more of that crema, that um, sriracha crema that mm -hmm. they were talking about. Cause this really is just like your standard, like crispy Brussels sprouts. Yeah. And you don't really have enough of that crema flavor with the sriracha. So anyways, yeah, but they're fine and they're yeah. good. You know, Brussels sprouts are really hearty as you guys know. It's true. Very, Very good true. for you. I think they're really filling. Yeah. And it's only 220 calories for all of this. Yeah. I think that's really good. The reason why, well, I should just say this. Cheesecake Factory has something similar to this. Remember the Brussels sprouts oh, we got from there? It was way better there. They were way better than these, oh, but yeah. they looked similar, you know? Mm -hmm. But they were way better. Way so better. I still like these. I, I definitely think they're just, yeah, they're just standard Brussels sprout, sprouts with a little bit of the seasoning on there. Yep. Uh, a little bit of that sauce. I'd give these, uh, I give them a five. We do. They're okay, yeah. right? They're fine. Just right up the middle. Yeah. Nothing and, crazy. I don't know if you guys can see, but they really, they have like a little sauce here. Yeah. I feel like I didn't even see that. Like a teeny sauce here. Yeah. But other than like all, there's no sauce. There's really not much. So I do think they <laughs> needed more of that sauce for sure. But yeah. they were they were well cooked. Yeah, they were. Right? Uh -huh. They weren't overly done and they weren't underly done. 
Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Underly. <laughs> I know what you mean. Is that right? By the way, I do want to say, guys, if you guys probably noticed, we're in another car right now. Wow. Uh, we actually have some friends visiting from out of town. Yeah. Uh, so we wanted to rent. We rented a Highlander. Um, that way we can kind of drive around, sightsee and stuff like yeah, that. And be comfortable. And be comfortable and yeah. everything. So just in case you guys are wondering, like, why are you in a different car? Yeah. <laughs> I promise you, we're not, we're not buying new cars. No, we're definitely, <laughs> we're definitely not buying new cars. That's for sure. Okay. Now we're going to do the yeah. highest calorie appetizer on the menu. Okay. This is what I came for. And this. All right. Is. This is the, amazing. Oh, here we go. It is the barbecue tri tip sliders. Ooh. It came with french fries. Let me show um, but you. We're not really reviewing the french fries. Yeah. For 1,370 calories. Look at that. And you have four sliders. Yep. And which we showed. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have four before. big sliders. <laughs> so that's really about 1,370 calories, you guys. Again, yeah. that includes the french fries. So if you took out the french fries, it would probably be around 1,000 calories, yeah. I'd say. That's true. It also comes with pickles on the side, too, which is uh -huh. nice. So you do that option. So 1,370 calories. So, uh, so cool. barbecue tri tip sliders, marinated, slow roasted uh, sliced sirloin okay. with bar uh, BJ's peppered barbecue sauce, Ooh. barbecue ranch fluffy mini buns nice. served with sliced dill pickle pickles and with french fries it's pretty good and the cost of this is 15 dollars and 95 cents you guys <laughs> come on really <laughs> i mean you know but that's how things are right now right i guess that's how it so is it's like four dollars a slider i'm that's gonna a put lot. a pickle on it okay but off the bat Would here's what i gotta say oh yeah i will take a pickle okay um do you mind putting that on for oh, me oh sure Got you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What I would say off the bat is, where's the barbecue sauce? Uh, they, they, this is well, this is pretty yeah, this is pretty low. There's a little here. I, I mean, this is they could do a little bit more barbecue sauce, but but that's okay. You know, especially for highest calorie, you're not skimping. You know what I mean? It's like you can drizzle on a few more. I but, really prefer like a little heavier barbecue yeah. sauce as well. But I like that they put the pickles on here. Exactly. Know? But the true taste test, we're about to find out how it really is without it. Okay. Here we go. One, One two, three. You feel bad talking smack now? Turns out it doesn't need it. <laughs> mm. This is very good. Wow. Very good. It's very flavorful. Mmm. Mmm. The tri tip is so good. It's extremely. <laughs> it's like it's almost perfect. Mm. Not too chewy. It's super tender. It's very yeah. It's tender. Mm. Juicy. It's flavored extremely well. Mm -hmm. um, I do wish there was still a little more barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. But whatever extra, whatever else they put on, they put something else on there. Maybe it's a mayo. A ranch. Like a ranch. Is mm -hmm. that what it is? Mm -hmm. And then the bun, uh, it's like a sweet Hawaiian bun almost, you know? So it does have that sweet flavor to it. It's mm. really good. Mm. Mm. Very good. And that pickle adds to it a lot. Mm -hmm. That pickle adds a lot These to it. These are on point. Mm-hmm. So each... I got one more. <laughs> so each slider is about 250 calories. Yeah. But you want your pickle? Oh, yeah. Thank you. There we go. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. But they're big sliders. I'm pretty hearty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, that's it for the most part. For most people, if you had these four sliders and that was it in the fries, oh. you'd be you'd be completely full. Hell of full. You might even leave one leftover slider, depending on it. Mm -hmm. But for the price, it is expensive. I mean, that's still a lot for sliders. 16 bucks, I agree. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, you know, I've noticed that appetizers are really, I don't know why they call them apps, because it's like, they mm -hmm. can be main courses. Okay, not the Brussels sprouts, but <laughs> but this for sure, Something yeah. Like this. Mm -hmm. Well, it's really I think good. they call it that because there's four options. Mm -hmm. So if you have four people at the table, yeah. everyone could have one, and it's a starter meal, mm -hmm. you know? I give it a nine. You give it a nine? Yeah. Um... 
I'm going eight. So you're raving about it. Yes. You, you <laughs> ate two of them. You thought it was delicious. Yes, that's true. And you give true. it an eight. I'm giving it an eight. Okay. And I'm giving it eight because I really do feel like more barbecue sauce would have taken it over the top. Okay. To me, it, it needed just a, a little bit more. They just kind of put a little bit on. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. But just a little bit on, and I really think it could be a little bit better. Okay. I really think that, for sure. You know what? To each their own. Exactly. To so, yeah, own. I definitely think the high-calorie thing is mm -hmm. worth it because you don't have to have all four. I think, honestly, for meal, you could have two. It'll be mm -hmm. way less than calories. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. You don't even need the fries with it or just have a couple fries. And the Brussels sprouts are a great choice for a low-calorie meal. That's right. I think so yeah. far we're two for two. It's good. <gasps> Excuse me. Um... I wouldn't say the Brussels sprouts were two for two. I'd say we're one and a half. Okay, yeah. Two. Well, okay, yeah, that's true. The Brussels sprouts were very low calorie. Yeah, okay. they were good, but I wouldn't come to BJ's for them. I'd go to Cheesecake probably. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion. Now we are on to the main course. We're going to start with the lowest calorie main course dish, Ooh, okay? okay? And this is going to be the Enlightened Fire Roasted Barbacoa Chicken. Ooh. Okay, so it's barbacoa Sorry. spiced chicken with brown rice, black beans, Ooh. feta cheese, cilantro, okay. a Greek yogurt crema, what? and fire roasted salsa, all for 520 calories. And this dish um, costs, let's see, costs $17.45. Um, Again, not cheap. I'm looking at it. <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to taste it enough. This is worth it for sure. I need a fork for this one. For oh sure. yeah, that's a good idea. It smells very good. I I like the seasoning, the way they seasoned it so far. The black beans look good. Uh, the rice looks really good. I think this is gonna be very good. Question: Is it gonna be worth the seventeen dollars? I know. It's it's pricey. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. Um, can I <clears throat> should I cut a little bit of the chicken? Yeah, if you want to do that, us? sure. Super quick because I have. Thank you. Yeah, yeah no problem. Awesome. I'm glad we're doing this because there's no way we would have yeah. <laughs> get a piece of chicken without me cutting this. Exactly. Um, as I'm cutting the chicken, uh huh. Here, I'll just do like a few. Is yeah, that cool? That's fine. Is that couple, good? A couple more. A couple more. Okay. As I'm cutting the chicken. Yep. The chicken feels pretty a hard. tough. Yeah, pretty tough. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'll put that there. Okay. All right. So we're gonna grab a bite though. And see for ourselves. I'm grabbing some rice, some cool. black beans, and some chicken. All right, let me try to get a good. Oh, I hate this one. It's kind of hard. To... There we go. It's hard for me to get one. We're going with that. All chicken, pretty much. <laughs> a little bit of black beans and rice. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hmm. It was over seasoned. It's overly. <laughs> it's overly salt. It has a lot of flavor. But then as you're eating it. Man. Very salty. This tastes like something I make on and I, when I accidentally yeah. season. <laughs> I really enjoyed the first bite because I was like, wow, this has so much flavor. Mm. Well, as I'm eating it. No. You're, if you can, I don't even think they can see this, but this yeah. chicken. The chicken looks like. It looks like it came it has out. Has hell. That's yeah. all spices. It looks like it's you, all seasoning on that one side by my face. Yeah, right there. That's a lot. It's a <laughs> yeah. lot. Mm -hmm. Have you ever like cooked, you guys? Have you ever cooked and like while you were sprinkling on seasoning, like the top fell off? You know what I'm talking about? You try mm -hmm. to sprinkle something and the top falls off. Mm -hmm. That's what this reminds me of, because there's so much on here. It's almost like they accidentally just poured a little bit too much on. For it's on, it's reason. honestly unedible. I know it. At the first bite, I was like, ooh. And then as I was eating it, it got worse. And then now as a second one. Yeah. It's way too salty. Like, it actually almost hurts my tongue. Yeah. With all the salt. It's a little much. Um, I mean, in my opinion. You can't eat it. Yeah. You can't. You, uh, there's no way. Right? <laughs> there's, it's too too much salt. I agree. I think there's, um, mm -mm. what seasoning is that in there? Is it chili powder in the there? The barbacoa spice. Oh, it's a barbacoa, yeah. which probably has chili because it tastes a little bit like it. It's, it's a little bit too much. I would definitely say. That could just be the chef. That could have just been an accident. Um, but if I'm just rating this just by itself, Ugh. less seasoning, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best. 
But I would say it's it's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah, the, the seasoning's fine. It's just way over seasoned. It is. And way too salty. Um, yeah. The rice and the beans were fine. Mm -hmm. I like that it adds a heartiness to it. Yeah, it does. But as this came. Yeah. I, I, I would be very upset. Tongue hurts. If I got the desert. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm the salt. I'm, I'm not even kidding. It does hurt. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I give it a two. It's like increases your blood pressure like right away. I give it a two. I give it a two. Uh, but if it was seasoned perfectly mm -hmm. and not over seasoned, yeah, I would have given that probably an eight and a half. Really, an eight and a half? Yeah, and I You're enjoyed. Kidding me. I enjoyed the flavor. Um, for me, uh, we'll see. I'm judging it based off of. I mean, yeah, obviously with the seasoning, it's a two, but I'm judging it based off of just how it tastes without that. Uh -huh. If they had it reduced a little bit, mm -hmm. I'm still only going to give this a six. Okay. I, I don't think okay, it's... Okay, I'm giving it a seven and a half. I'm sorry. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay. I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I know this sounds crazy, but no, I shouldn't even say that because it's going to sound crazy. I'll just say this. <laughs> I, I, It doesn't, to me, I've, I've just had better chicken that are low calorie than this. I've just mm -hmm. had better flavors than this. Totally. It's good, but it's just not great. Yeah. But some people would love this. So 520 calories. Ask them to mm -hmm. go like light on the seasoning. <laughs> and I think you should be okay. I do think it's a, yeah. a good alternative dish. Yeah, light on the seasoning if that's how they... You know, if they can. If they, I mean, maybe that was an accident, though, right? You know what I mean? Like, like, did uh, you really think it fell off? No, I don't think it really fell off. Uh, I think the guy just maybe he was having a conversation. He was just shaking while he was talking and not thinking about it. You know, something. Because that, I don't think they would put that out if that was the seasoning. Yeah, that's a lot. It was a lot of seasoning. It was a lot. Okay, I think we're down to the last thing. Okay, now last but not least, on the okay. highest calorie main entree. Oh. Is a classic prime rib dip. So it's yes. sliced, slow roasted prime rib, yes. toasted hoagie roll, au jus, creamy horseradish served on the side, Woo. which we didn't get. We didn't? No. And a side of BJ's signature coleslaw, which we did get, with french fries, which we, we did. did get. Um, so we just didn't get the horseradish. Horseradish, yeah. It is 1,640 calories. You're kidding me. No. And, wow. And it cost... Um, Can it cost, I guess? Yeah. I'm going to say this is $16.59. Close. Am I? $17.95. Oh, okay. So, Off a dollar and a little more and some change. I'll hold the au jus. Do you want to okay, actually yeah. maybe we'll, hand we'll me the au jus there. really quick? And yeah. then I'll hold it because... What about the, do you want to put the coleslaw on it first? Like on top of this? Yeah. Oh, right? good Right, because that's how I think it's supposed to be. Is it? I thought so. That's what they said, coleslaw on it. I mean, you don't just have it on the side, I don't think. I mean, you can, but okay, I'll put it on. Let's put it on. Why not? Um, oops. I wanna, you what got am I it. doing? You got it. Okay. So, is that okay to put it on? Let's hope it's good. I think it'll be good. Okay. This is so why. So I added the coleslaw. And then we're going to dip in the au jus. Au jus. Which, by the way, I want to shout out Brian Parmelo because I know we talked about au jus one time and he said he's a big fan of it. Okay. And I think I think it's going to be really good because I, I do like au jus. Sometimes it's not done right, though. Yeah. Sometimes it's not done right. Why are we rocking so much? I don't know. Lean, let it rock. Well, I know. Lean, let it rock. <laughs> there we go. Should be, should be okay. Oh, we're having an earthquake for a second. Oh, really? <laughs> I was like, why are we rocking? I know. Yeah, or I think we're good. We're not having an earthquake. Okay. 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 Here we go. And then let's get that au jus going. Yes. Which I do want to hold. Oops, oh, you okay. want to hold the au jus? Sure. Yes, if you want to hold the sandwich, I'll hold the au jus. Okay. Got you. Okay. Let's you do that. Go. Perfect. And then do you oh. want to dip first and then I can dip after? Um, I kind of want you to go first. <laughs> okay. You go. Okay, you go first. Okay, I'll go first. Okay, so I'll this is first. the au jus. That's how okay, much they I gotta put. break this in half. There we go. I'm losing it. The okay. bottom's a little soggy. Okay. So, so make sure you just eat over the plate. I'm going to lose a lot of stuff when I dip. Okay, do you want to re-handle it? I think I got it. I think I got it. Are you this. sure you want to dip it? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good job. I lost a lot, but it's okay. Okay, go eat over the plate. Perfect. Okay, yay! Just because we're in the rental, you guys. So mm. I don't want to. <laughs> Drill's doing really good. I'm proud of you. I'm doing pretty good. You got it. Considering this is really messy. You're doing good. Yes. Good mm. job. Uh... 
<laughs> okay. You need a mm -hmm. napkin? Yeah. Do your napkin and then I will go for a bite afterwards. Okay. I got a lot to say about that. Do you have a lot to say about it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you mind if I just eat off of yours? I don't care. Sure. Okay. Guys, I don't care. How, how dare you use mine? Eat mine. Actually, yours is like super. I awesome. know, right? <laughs> I don't even know if I should. This is all. <laughs> Okay, never idea. mind. I'm not. No, I'm not eating off of you. I'm, I got I'm starting idea. fresh. Let me hold this for you. No, I got it. No, I'm gonna no, hold it. No, this is how you do it. Okay. So you hold it like that. Oh. You dip the corner. Oh, well, look at your side. Your side is <laughs> way, way more neat. It's because I did that. Okay, I know <laughs> how to hold things. Yes, I know how to hold things. Okay, yeah. there we go. There we go. <laughs> I had to eat with my left hand. That's why. Mmm. Mmm. Does it get crystallized? Mm. Mm. <laughs> but I you're not love, really a meat person. I don't love prime rib. Yeah, I feel you. Um, it's good though. You do like it? Mm -hmm. Where would you give it? Mm. I don't know. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I got it oh. right here. Okay. No problem. Got you right here. Let me open it up for you. That way you don't have to worry about that. Thank you guys, this is a struggle for sure. Thank you. A little bit of a struggle. Thank you. I actually want another bite. It yeah. Is good. Oh, you do want another bite. I do want another bite. Okay. Okay, what do I give it? Yes. Mmm. Mm. Give me like a seven and a half. Seven and a half, mm -hmm. huh? How about you? I give this an eight and a half. Almost a nine. Okay. You guys, the fl it's not just the uh the prime rib which is very very good mm -hmm. okay i'll eat off yours because yours <laughs> is still somewhat together you know what i might take it from the back i'm taking it from the back <laughs> mm. i mean jamil's more of the prime rib connoisseur than i am so mm. you said an eight and a half mm -hmm. and um, why is that because that's a lot of flavor the prime rib is on point but to me, it is really tender. When you have an au jus that's very good and mm -hmm. very flavorful, mm -hmm. to me, it just ups the sandwich that much more. Mm -hmm. I've had au jus that were just very basic, like watered, not watered down, but it just it just didn't have a good balance going. This one's very good, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And with that tri-tip, it's so good. Nice. To me, it's a lot of calories. I know it is a lot, okay. uh, but I'm going to say it's worth it. I'm going to say it's worth the calories because of how flavorful it is yeah. and how much you get, which you do get a lot, actually. And it does include mm -hmm. the french fries, which we're not eating. Yep. So if you don't have the french fries, it's probably around 1,300 calories. Yep. So it is still a lot. Yeah, it is. And the au jus probably has a lot of calories in it, too. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, it exactly, does. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely does. But this au jus, to me, the au jus makes it. That's what makes it about an eight and a half. I think if I was eating that by itself, mm -hmm. it probably would be like a eight, maybe seven and a half or an eight. Mm -hmm. But this kind of just, it not it puts it up a notch for sure. It makes it, I don't know, it just completes it. it Good. Completes it, Good. In my opinion. Yeah, not it's even seven and a half. I think it's fine. I wouldn't order it. It's very like. Yeah. You know, it's very meat. Yeah. But it's good. So how many calories? 160, or sorry, 1,600 something? And 40. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's messy too. Yep. But if you took the bread off and just mm -hmm. had the meat, you know, took at least the top bread off, it's not bad. It's good. Good. It's good. I'm glad. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I, so far, what was your, what was your worst thing? Uh, well, the Brussels sprouts. And it's not that they were the, wait, wait, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> no, what am I talking about? That chicken was. Yeah, the chicken for sure. Wow, it's what am I talking about? because it was unedible. About? Yeah. The chicken, you can't really eat it. I mean, like, you'd have to, like, scrape off the, you know what I mean? Some of the seasoning just mm -hmm. to eat it. Yeah, I agree with the chicken. So, I definitely would say the worst was the chicken. And what was your favorite? This. Okay. This was my favorite, for sure. I mean, this was very good. The barbecue uh, sliders are very good, too. But this one, to me, with that au jus and everything else, I mean, it was, it's really good. That's good. <laughs> My favorite's the uh, sliders. The uh, sliders, sure. huh? Uh, yeah. I really enjoy the sliders. But yeah. Nice. So, you guys, let us know what your favorite dishes are from BJ's, if you've That's been right. here before. Yes. Um, maybe we'll do a subscriber's favorites in the future, if this yeah. is popular enough. That's right. But 
today we just want to do a highest and lowest calorie for you guys. Yes, and I do have to say, because we've been to BJ's enough times to know, they have better stuff than these things that we grab too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So if you've never been to BJ's before, like try check it out because mm -hmm. they do have a lot of good options there. They Absolutely. have pizzas there, they have burgers of course, and Absolutely. also the appetizers are very good very there. Very good. Especially their California flatbread pizza, right? Oh yeah. Is that what it is? The California flatbread's so good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Bacon, avocado, chicken on there. Mm -hmm. If you like that stuff, if mm -hmm. you don't. And the ranch, oh, it's so good, the, the ranch. The ranch. <laughs> ranch it is the ranch is really good it's very good it so yeah. so check it out yeah. um they also have pizookies which by the way they did give us a pizooki mm -hmm. uh, we haven't really looked at it or whatever because it just kind of comes with it it came for free so. yeah it came for free but um but they do have the pizookies you know they're okay do you know doesn't love them i think they're delicious they're okay so huge warm cookie with ice cream it's the delicious. idea is good uh -huh. the execution isn't in my opinion okay that's my opinion on it you know so. okay anyways guys i think well, we're up in the old. Oh, I'm gonna clean up. oh no okay don't forget to like comment subscribe share and share and just carry and let your friends family know what the kate and jamie are doing and until next time we hope you have a wonderful day evening or night whatever time it is out there and we will see you in our next video mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out, chaps.